The 2020 NFL Draft was three years ago. I know, right? Crazy how time flies. But three years in the NFL is a long time. By this point, we kind of know what we have in all of these players selected in this draft class. So that's why I want to make a video about the Dallas Cowboys 2020 Draft three years later. Breaking down the picks, were they hits or misses? So let's get into it. With the 17th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys selected Oklahoma wide receiver CD Lamb, someone that should have never fell as far as he did. It came as a shock to everyone after Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy went off the board first. After sweating through the Falcon selection of AJ Terrell, the Cowboys were on the clock with CD staring them right in the face. So they made the smart move and took the best player available. Jerry Jones would later come out and say that they had Lamb as the sixth best best player on their entire board, and it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. Personally, I haven't seen Cowboys fans that excited about a first round pick in a long time. When they made this selection, they already had Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper, so the thought of adding another weapon that is potentially a number one receiver was beyond exciting. Since 2020, Lamb has caught 74, 79, and 107 passes in his Cowboys career, racking up over 3,300 yards and 20 touchdowns over three years. He has emerged as the team's number one target and progressed enough as an NFL player for the Cowboys to feel comfortable moving on from Amari Cooper. 2022 was Lamb's breakout campaign, even though he caught 79 passes for 1,000 yards in 2021. The addition of Lamb has been absolutely great, as we all expected. I do think the Justin Jefferson selection has overshadowed what Lamb has been able to do in his first three years of his career, but in his own right, CD has been damn good. I love the pick when it happened. I love this pick three years later. Give the CD Lamb selection a grade down below in the comments, A, B, C, D, or F. A player that was in discussion for the Cowboys at number 17 overall used to be a wide receiver in college, but made the switch at Alabama to cornerback. But CD was too good to pass up, so the Cowboys had to kick the idea of drafting Trayvon Diggs down the road. Somehow, someway, Diggs fell all the way down the board to the Cowboys' second round pick, and they got their guy once again. And before I continue, I just want to talk about the value that the Cowboys were finding in this draft. I mean, two cornerstone pieces in the first two picks without trading a single thing. Some teams can't do that in five years, much less get two players on either side of the ball that can make a major impact in the same draft. What the Cowboys saw in Diggs came to fruition after his rookie season. In 2021, Diggs broke numerous records on his way to 11 interceptions. Although he had his moments in coverage, there was no doubt he was cementing himself as a top flight ball hawk around the NFL. Still, teams insisted on testing him. But in 2022 is where things started to click. Diggs improved in coverage noticeably, despite the drop in interception numbers. He was more reliable on the back end, limiting big plays, and still coming down with three interceptions in 2022. I know that Diggs catches a lot of slack, mainly because he's on the Cowboys, but he has been everything you'd hope from and much more out of a second round pick. 17 career interceptions in his first three years, and I bet that more are on the way. In the third and fourth round, the Cowboys selected defensive tackle Neville Gallimore and cornerback Reggie Robinson. Gallimore has had his moments with the Cowboys, recording three sacks in his career. Although he is a big body, he hasn't quite been what the team envisioned in the third round. It's been an up and down journey for him, and there is talk that he could be a camp cut when it comes down to it in 2023. I know it's been three years, but the jury is still out on Neville Gallimore. The same can't be said for cornerback Reggie Robinson, who never made an impact with the Cowboys. He was kind of stashed away for a year or two, but I think Dan Quinn coming in kind of pushed him out of the team's future. Unfortunately, you can't hit on every single draft pick, but Dallas did hit in the fourth round with a selection of Tyler Biotish. Biotish Scottish wouldn't be the full-time starter until 2021, and while it has taken him some time to develop, to me, he has been a really solid piece on this Cowboys line. He did miss a few games last season with a high ankle sprain, but he has been good for Dak Prescott since the departure.
departure of Travis Frederick. Bionic has gotten better every year with more and more playing time, and I can't wait to see what he does in 2023. We tend to forget, but he has been a very consistent piece for this Cowboys team. After the fourth round, the team took a shot on defensive end Bradley and I from Utah in the fifth who possessed some interesting traits as a pass rusher. Unfortunately for him, he never really got his shot in Dallas, especially with the emergence of other guys like Dorrance Armstrong, Randy Gregory, and then Micah Parsons. Anai was eventually released from the team, making little to no impact in Dallas. And finally, the last selection of 2020 came with James Madison quarterback and Hall of Famer Ben DiNucci. For some reason on my videos, I have to put a sarcasm disclaimer. That was sarcasm. DiNucci saw one start where he was put into the biggest stage on Sunday night football, and he wasn't great, unsurprisingly. And the team would move on from DiNucci after the 2022 roster cuts. He has had his moments in pro football though, taking the XFL by storm just a few weeks ago. He is currently a member of the Denver Broncos. Three years later, what kind of grade do you give it? A, B, C, D, or F? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I love you all.